Now, Peter of England here, bringing you an update, uh, a follow-on video from the last one I've just done, and that's concerning all the rumours and the allegations about Weir Bank and what its capacity is, what its status is, what its position is as, as far as regulatory authorities are concerned, which, why would we be asking for regulation for something that's perfectly legal? I mean, banking is probably the second oldest, oldest profession in the world after prostitution. Everyone's got a right to do whatever they want with their body, it would appear, and we have a right to do what we want with your money. Okay, so what I've covered in the previous video, the one on the rebuttals to the banks, are all these spurious allegations about we're not registered with UK Clearing, we don't have a SOAR code, and people think, well, what's going on? Is everything being rejected? But I have some documents here. It's only a very, very brief number, um, which actually highlight the situation whereby we are in constant communication with banks around the world. And we have, and I'll bring these towards the camera now, we have a series, and this is not for you to read, it's just so that you can see the logo. This one is from La Banque Postale. Okay, that's in France. Okay, so that's for the clearing of a Weir Bank check. Another one from Merrill Lynch. Okay, that's for the clearance of a check in the USA. The check on the back. Another one here from Foreign Check International Service Centre Clearing coming from Lloyd's with the check at the bottom. What these checks are in effect saying, I'll tell you in a moment, we have one from whoops, Frankfurt Standard Chartered on behalf of American Express via JP Morgan. A check on the back for clearing and duly stamped. Another one here from Royal Bank of Canada with the check on the back, the check here asking for a, what's called a special clearance of a check. More from Bank of America, Merrill Lynch check on the back. Further to here, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch coming in from the United States. So the point I'm making here, the point I'm making here with this is that banks are referring to us as a bank. They are under the belief, after their due diligence, that we have a capacity to clear checks. They're communicating with us. So for the naysayers, for all those people who say it isn't working. This is the proof that there is something in it. Ultimately though, like all battles, you have to be strong at the beginning. They are trying to be disruptive, they're trying to cause alarm and despondency within the ranks of removement and Weir Bank membership, but you have to be strong. Stay the course, maintain your right, maintain what you say, that it has been paid, if they refuse to make presentments, then that's their problem. If they say, for example, to you people in the United States and Canada, that we only accept a check drawn on a American or Canadian or Australian bank, if you're in those respective countries, in those respective currencies, it's nonsense. Everyone that's pressured the bank to show them proof that that is the case the banks have had to back down and they have had to send the checks for presentment. Okay? The next part then is how do we make presentment to them? Then we make it, as I've said before, by our um, competitive uh, alternative means of electronic fund transfer, which is called Swallow. Secure, Waygate, Allow. Okay? We don't use their SWIFT system, which is totally cannibalistic. It's a death conduit, it's the thing that funds all the wars, all the missiles, all the shells that rain down in Syria from Libya and Gaza and Iraq, 
all the war, all the destitution, all the poverty, all, all the black ops, all these operations are funded and paid for by, no, not the local farmer, or no, not the local uh, women's institute, they're, fo uh, they're funded by bankers. And the bankers are the ones that are controlling SWIFT. So as far as that 1973 Belgian telecoms organization, the rat line for uh, illegal and criminal monetary transfers around the planet is concerned, we'll have nothing to do with it. And everyone that's using it will be eventually subject to RICO, which is the Racketeering Influence Corrupt Organization 1970 piece of legislation that's floating around just waiting for them with their names already on international arrest warrants. So this is a battle to the finish. Everyone needs to be very, very calm. They need to stand by us, join in droves now. Stop hesitating, come on board. If you come on in sufficient numbers, this will and can be over by Christmas. Peter of England saying thank you, signing off.